Assalamu alaikum. Hi, I'm scientist Aidura. I'm actually working with the Department of Chemistry right now. I've been working as a DNA forensic analyst since 1998. Yeah, I'm ancient. I'm old. But then again, it helps me to look things in a broader and better perspective. Well, not like you young ones yet. Wait until you grow old like me. You love it. Life is fun. So basically, what do I do? Well, I'm a forensic DNA scientist. I investigate murder, rape, sexual assault, basically any cases that has biological evidence. So when you talk about biological evidence, I'm talking about all the gooey stuff, your saliva, your blood of course those men have semen and basically all those things that you leave behind okay we do take things seriously in our place to assure the quality assurance are all in place you know um let's take an example well i was involved with the mh17 case where i did the analysis of the next of kin when you talk about next of kin you know talking about the uh, the victims they are their parents so you are the product of your parents so basically half of you is your mom and half of you is from your dad. So basically because of that, having your parents will enable us to find out which victims belong to this set of parents. So I did the next of kin and then I went to Netherlands and I did the comparison with the passengers of the MH17. And with that we compared and voila, we find who are the missing people and of course we put them to rest in the right places and give them back to the rightful owners or families. Today we are Sekolah Menengah Teknik Tanku Jaffa. So basically, you are having science for you, basically under MOSTI. However, I managed to get one half a day or one day for Academy of Science, their science bus program. I'm a scientist, get me out of here. So what happens today is that we have games designated for you to know what forensic science is all about. For you to understand truly the interesting facts of being a forensic DNA analyst or being a forensic scientist. So apart from the games, apart from the uh, exhibitions, we also have other ex exhibitions here under MOSTI agency. Basically, we have the uh, Yayasan University Malaysia, we have the Yayasan Akasawan Malaysia. Um, but of course, I'm going to highlight more on the forensic science under the Department of Chemistry Malaysia. So over here, you can see that forensic science, you have the DNA analysis, you have toxicology analysis, basically for you to know what are the poisons or what are the um, contaminants that exist in your body that cause you to die, basically, post-mortem. And then of course, we have narcotic section, where we want to ensure that the things that you're carrying is free of drugs. Apart from that, we also have criminalistics. Basically, criminalistics is for you to uh, understand more about ballistics basically how do you um, link up the um, shells that you find after people fire their guns to the gun itself the main reason that we conduct uh, these uh, games this awareness is for you to understand that science is actually a very interesting topic you can do a lot of things with science for example I'm a forensic DNA scientist. Without you knowing it, yeah, we help solve crime. We ensure that the people get justice. And on top of that, the best thing is every day I get to work with new techniques, explore new uh, things and as well as new instruments for DNA analysis. Sometimes being young, you think that you want to do a lot of things and you feel that you can't achieve those things, don't ever think small of yourself. Um, I guess I'm a product of uh, what you call, my lecturers would call me an outlier because in, in, in university, I would probably do minim, the most minimal. To me, at that time, doing, doing my varsity is, um, I just need to study yeah, without knowing where I want to go. But then for you, you have all these things around you, you have all this awareness where you can actually plan your life very much earlier than myself. So therefore, come and join science, come and learn science. Definitely, you will see a broader perception, you will see a broaden, um, what you call that, out of the box things that you can do. And apart from um, basically enjoying it, you actually help people. Don't wait. You need to do it now. Log in into the Science Bus 
uh, Facebook, ensure that you like, ensure that you always see our latest um, programs, our latest events. Dare to be curious? Sciencebus.my. Thank you. Yeah.